Hebrews 2, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekah, Kodash. Double honors to the apostles, upright millstone, and citations unto the elect and feed the sheep of Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, in sincerity and in truth with this great gospel, man. And the beautiful thing about this gospel, it speaks about the kingdom of heaven, a place that is better than the place that we're in right now, a place that we're in right now. Because um, everything about this place is, is false. Everything about this place is fake, right? You're being fed fake food, right? Especially in these um low, um low living neighborhoods, right? Where Jake is at, you got these growth um these <laughs> corner stores that's selling fake cheese, fake fake salami meat, fake ham meat, all that bullshit, right? What else you got? Fake letters coming from overseas from these heathens, right? Everything in this society has what became fake. Because one thing we know, there's no way they could feed all these people. There's no way they could feed all these people, man. Let me get this one verse. Read the book of Ezekiel 4 and 13. It says, And the Lord said, Even thus shall the children of Israel eat their defiled bread amongst among the heat among the Gentiles. Whither I will drive them. I'm reading again. And the Lord said, Even thus shall the children of Israel eat their defiled bread among the Gentiles with I have driven. And um, yes, first off, you gotta realize, Jake still got that diet from slavery. That diet from slavery. Even if his food is not fake, his food is defiled by what? By pork. By different type of foods that the Lord told us not to consume, man. And these people wonder why they dying early, especially with this fake food shit. Especially when you're dealing with the fake food. We're talking about food that don't break down in your system, right? We're talking about food that has no nutrients that can't do nothing for your body but clog your system up, right? So we already know this is not of the Lord, but this is of the, the devil. Even the Lord set it up. The Lord's in control. But what? This is Satan. He's using Satan to do this. And he's using these other heathen nations. And guess where this fake-ass food is going to? To these black and Hispanic neighborhoods. What else, man? This society you're dealing with, man. What else you're dealing with? Um, the, f the news is fake, right? The information you're getting is fake, right? What are you getting? You're getting lies, right? They're, um, they're using the news to manipulate the way you think about certain things, right? Why do you think so many people have an atheist spirit, right? They've been sitting at home watching that goddamn news, that, that box that's against the most high. And they showed you a video on YouTube how anytime somebody speak anything about God or the Lord, what, they cut their ass off. Yeah, don't bring that up. Don't bring that subject up. But the Arabs can speak about Allah and the Muslim thing, all this stuff, right? They speak about respect, all these. But anything that comes close to our Heavenly Father, man, shut that down. What else they got in this fake news, man? Um, they're not telling you what's really going on in this society, man. They're giving you a fake um, statistics. Yeah, they're giving you false statistics. When everything's falling apart, they're telling you everything's okay. Right? Let me get this one verse. I'm going to read the book of Psalms 101, verse 7. It reads, He that worketh deceit shall not dwell within my house. And that's what they they working in this society. Deception. Right? Misinformation, disinformation, distractions, bread and circus, confusion. What, the whole time, what they doing? They raping and robbing the people. They raping and robbing the people and killing the people, setting up a society where they could only be the ones to be living good. And everybody else is what? Microchipped and under their submission. Right? There's some called population control. How do you get that going on a mass level, man, with this fake food? Right? Fake food, false information causing people to take things that they really shouldn't be taking, right? Disinformation, misinformation, right? And don't even go into that medical field. That's a whole nother thing, boy. It says, um, um, there are physicians of no value, forgers of lies, right? So these people are not to be trusted in this society. Psalms 101 and 7. He that worketh deceit shall not dwell within my house. He that telleth lies shall not tarry in my sight, shall not tarry in the Lord's sight. Go to Luke 8 and 17, for nothing is secret, right? Luke 8 and 17, for nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest, neither anything hid that shall not be known and come abroad. Yeah, the Lord used this internet to expose things, to bring things to light, 
to bring things to light, even these celebrities. Even these celebrities, uh, fake, right? Fake breast, fake ass, right? Fake nose, fake faces, right? They don't even look like their former selves, right? These people are destroyed. Look at it. You had Michael Jackson. If you've seen the original Michael Jackson, he was a so-called very brown-skinned man, very dark brown skin. Not too dark brown, but he was a darker brown-skinned man. And now he turned into what? A zombie at the end of his life. At the end of his life, he was looking like a fucking ghost, right? You got little Kim. You already see she looking like a fucking Moabite. She looking like a Moabite, man. So these people, man, everything is fake in this society. The food is fake. The people is fake. The only thing left of this fake-ass world is what? Destruction and death. <laughs> Destruction and death. Let me get this one verse. It's the book of Revelation 21 and 8. But the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and the murderers, right? And the whoremongers and the sorcerers and idolaters and all liars. And all liars, right? All deceivers. All misinformation is all people who's, who's causing what a stumbling block for who the children of Israel. That's what it's really about, right? It's all about keeping because these other nations they're already in darkness. Now that you got light coming into this world through this truth, through Yahweh Hashem outside, well, they're trying to push more misinformation, disinformation, trying to get you to go off. Yeah, cut yourself when you know you ain't supposed to be cutting your body parts when you know you're not supposed to be eating abominable foods, right? When you know you're not supposed to be idol worshiping, <laughs> right? I'm going to read it again, but the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable, right? What else they do? They bring fear of the of um, of the gospel, right? That's one thing they did, man. They made um anybody who worships God look like a weirdo, like a terrorist. Anybody who soak up a worshiper of something higher than themselves, right? These people look, they're, they're weird, Something's wrong with them. They're a cult, right? They're trying to put fear, right, into your mind about certain groups of people. It says, but the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and the murderers and the whoremongers and the sorcerers and the idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. Yeah, which is the second death here in America. Thermonuclear destruction upon this place because this place is the pl main place that pushes, that pushes this falseness, this fakeness, this phoniness, that's not realness, right? Here in Babylon the Great. I'm going to read the book of um, Galatians 5 and 20. It says idolatry, right? Idolatry. And what's the main thing being worshipped? False gods, fake gods in this society, right? Gods that don't exist. Gods that don't exist. Gods from the past that got got a foot up their ass from the Lord, right? The Lord destroyed all these other gods from these fought from these other nations and from the past. And now here in 2023, and in this world you're living in, what they're pushing the same false idols back, the gods of Egypt, the gods of Egypt, the gods of um, Greek, the Greek gods, right? Assyrian gods, false gods, fake gods, right? It reads idolatry, witchcraft, that witchcraft, right? That's what you got going on with this television, man. This Hollywood, <laughs> this media, right? They're um, trying to conform your mind to a way of thinking that's going to lead you to your demise, plain and simple. A way of thinking that's going to lead you to your demise. Anything against the Lord, anything keep you distracted from what? Returning back to the Heavenly Father, because that's really what it's all about. Which um, Time is short. <laughs> time is short. You shouldn't be seeking another motherfucking thing right now but the Lord right now. <laughs> I'm going to read again. It says idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variances, emulations, wrath, strife, sedition, heresies, envies, murders, drunkenness, revelings, and such like of the which I tell you before, as I have also told you in time past, that they which do such things, sh that, that they that which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of the Most High. Hell no. Hell no, you got to realize this society is destined to be destroyed, right? It's, it's um, played its course. It's it's damned and unfulfilled what it was said to do, man. The only thing, the only thing that really is left is what? Radio frequency chip, people people chip with this radio frequency identification device um, in what? World War Three, World War Three, <laughs> And that's when Babylon the Great falls.